guy is. I work for him, Maurice. He gets all his fucking ideas and planning from me. I downplay my things a lot. End quote. What else I wanted to talk about? Brain hurt. Quote. I little kids who are like minding their own little business being children whenever they were kids. Like, like a little nine year old who probably like Legos and airplanes and stuff and buildings or architecture and whatnot. We're gonna blame shit on them type of crap. Right? Like they're evil omens. They have powers of making bad things happen that other people like me are responsible for. End quote Agent Schmidt. You know? It's something I was about to complain about. I don't know. Ah, fuck. Man. Like, shit is just fucking crazy, man. Like, Earth is like a hypothetical system of constant frame up. Blame shit on other people. That's like Hitler framing the Jews from the crimes of his own fucking cunning. I, mean, I don't want to use the word cunning. That's like Hitler framing Jews. But for shit of his own doing, you know? Like, I killed six million Jews! And it's the Jews' fault! Not that every German person is evil, because they were imposed and oppressed by Hitler himself, you know? You know, I don't hate, I don't hate Dutch people or Germans just because of one guy. You, know, you have a French guy who is exactly like Hitler, whose name is Napoleon, you know? So, yeah. Weird. Like, I would take over Europe and everyone. But I'm a nice guy. I don't know. Fuck. And Napoleon is like literally not the first Hitler, but the first European Hitler. You know? Like, like for some odd reason, French people in their brotherhood are downplayed on the part of like. Ben is equal douchebag as other fucking hypothetical Nazis. Like we are so elegant and regals, yeah. I don't think French would say yeah. Like we. <laughs> you know? Uh, I wanted to note like how people do stupid shit for a little bit of money. I say like somebody got like a million dollars to plant bombs inside of the in, in New York buildings. Like that building is worth like probably like 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 like, like, like a quintillion dollars or something, right? But like in, in its net worth. They probably have businesses and, and, and other stuff running in all of it as well that produces their own gross revenue, whereas People who have absolutely nothing are willing to do like many things to acquire a little bit of fucking pennies. Like if you want some a banana, you you hypothetical human monkey, like, they help me destroy this building, or else I'll give you a, not even a fucking one percent cut of what the fuck is probably you work. You know, like a billion, billion, a billion that's worth like probably hundreds of billion dollars. You know, you'll get 100 million just by helping me kill everyone in it. And then, like, if anybody opposes us or have a problem with the fuck we do, uh, we're gonna make like they're evil. And then they are like aliens from another planet who destroyed people inside of these buildings and killed everyone and shit. They're, they're responsible and not us. Right? And then, like, I said, if we wanna do this to the rest of the planet or America, like, like, we can do whatever the fuck we want to do inside of this shit, you know? Not, not, not people that we accuse of being responsible for stuff, but the people that actually are, you know? Like, we were trying to stop the bad people for some odd reason, yet we were doing fucked up things. That's like Agent Smith pretending he's trying to stop an invasion, yet likely intends on seeing one. Type of shit, you know? Which is why he's doing fucked up things in the first place. Or dead. But he got his ideas and instructions from another guy who's responsible for fucked up things okay. And he works for me. The guy who's like an alien in a, a video game show called Name Roger. 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here. Alright, here, I'm just, He's my right hand man, but I make as if he's in control of everything. I don't know. Oh, man. Like Agent Smith is like Christopher Columbus. You know, you can call people immigrants who are who been in places before him type of shit. Like, oh, hello people at the lands of America. I discovered this land and you. You are Indians and this is India. I know India is that way. We're Native Americans. Look like Native Americans, we have Native American skin, blah blah. Been here before you. We got this guy, he came out of nowhere with some bullshit, calling us immigrants. Like, what the fuck? As if he's INS, but he's like from Spain. Like, I don't understand. I, I, I think Christopher Columbus people's actual identity is just like, okay. Like, uh, your name is Colonna shit, yo. Like, no, it is not. <laughs> like, like, let's say some guy's name is Justin. Uh, my name is fucking Justin, and not some African dude's name. Whereas, I don't even look African, and I can actually be biracial. Like, half of my race isn't found in Africa. It's nowhere near Africa. And then I could be like, like, one eighth Native American, whereas you can actually see that trait when I get red, and sick, or excited, or blushing, or whatever, red for whatever reason. Like, your, your skin is interacting with the weather. Type of shit. Like, I, after getting out of the hot shower, and you're red. Whereas in Africa, they don't turn red because there are no native Americans near that fucking place called Africa, right? Right, so, yeah, Justin. It's my name. Like, no! Your name is this, here. Like, like, I don't want to use the term Toby. Like, uh, roots, it's bullshit, right? Because African people actually, uh, sold people to, like, the French people or not. For, like provisions and stuff, whereas they, they have a history of like being like full of shit, like fraudulent, and they don't have a problem with like trying to make as if people are not from Africa are from Africa type of shit. If they have a history of like selling their own people from Africa to like European settlers and whatnot, right? To make as if they were kidnapped and they weren't. Like, this time we want to do the reverse uh, ideas, yeah? That's because if people are not from Africa, are from Africa. Except for bullshit. You know, it's just a reverse Amistad thing. And we could do that, because Christopher Columbus got away with calling people who are not Indians, Indians. Uh, uh, that's not their identity. And then he did not discover a place that already has people living on it, obviously. Common sense, right? They likely discover it first because they're living on it. Like they're not immigrants or foreigners. Do a, a, a fucking immigrant and or foreigner calling them an immigrant or foreigner, which is weird. You know, I don't know. The hypocritical Earth shit again. Even in history, Earth is fucking crazy. That's like this planet, you know, or, or, or system, or whatever. Making as if Abraham Lincoln is like a criminal, identical to Hitler for, for whatever reason. You know, for for stopping the Confederates. Or, Ending the war or the apocalypse against black Negro slaves, and, and, you know, we'd like to still be slaves. We're probably gonna have a fucking problem with disrespecting this guy. It was the reason why they're not like, 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 like picking cotton or something today. They like, fuck Lincoln, yo. I'm, I'm hurt, cause, like, say that if you're a slave today. You know? I don't know. If, if you happen to be suddenly black inside of the system, if that's your current systematic uh, assignment, right? Well, I'm a straight thug, yo. If I was a slave, I would have freedom to be a fucking thug. Cause I, I would get my Irish whip, and that'd be funny as shit, right? <laughs> Maybe Lincoln saved this lady for himself, yeah, in black. Or actually about racial. Right? So who cares? Like, damn it, I'm to be black. And black people are slaves. Fuck. It's not, just kidding. Weird movie idea. I'm done here. That's it. Right? Uh, 
everyone needs to say something about Christopher Columbus. And I said everything I wanted to say, so I'm done with my notes. Random note taking. Ah, uh, man. I need to relax. So, let's see tea, all gray, mix with the lemon thing. Need some aromatherapy going on. Some nice soft music. Maybe classical or jazz. Bossa Nova. You know, I love Bossa Nova. It's not, it's not, it's not native of Africa. And just because I like Bossa Nova doesn't mean I'm from whatever place Bossa Nova originated in or not, right? So like if I, I listen to something from France, like, like music of French accordions or something, or am I from France or something, right? It's just some soft Bossa Novas. What else? Uh, tea, aromatherapy, possibly a hot shot. That helps a lot. And, I don't know, I think I want to do some research. Research, like, stimulating your mind is also fun. Or playing a video game, or watching a movie. I don't know, whatever the fuck you do to fucking pass time to relax. That's uh, that I recommend for the world. Indulge yourself. Not not in, in things that are unnecessary, but in life. So yeah, simple things that exist. Out of like the human psyche or creation, or something. why not? Yeah, I like to vilify some stuff some more. Uh, but I say if I was like dying or I had a character that was dying, I like being hypothetical. A uh, uh, character who's dying is like hypothetically blamed for shit and goes on if his, his life is tied into some weird scenario. That's completely stupid and pointless and doesn't make any goddamn sense. And I was probably like compromised by even hypothetical guest members of on board some futuristic stuff. Like, why would you design a fucking burger that fucking cause problems for somebody to, to hypothetically try and train them to not like wanting to eat stuff like burgers in the future for your own selfish reasons? And then compromise the idea of like getting hypothetical futuristic stuff that they themselves are on board traced and you know, all because of this burger fucking thing. Like, this is why I hypothetically not completely side with the idea or, or uh, well, it's me bullshit for some hypothetical character. It's like they, they themselves like have their hands on the shit, you know, and that, that keeps you deliberately stuck here, whereas right? you can't interact with the system normally like everyone else. Right? I don't know. <coughs> damn it. Sorry, damn it, yo. It came out of nowhere. Uh, just saying. That, that, that means, like, the hypothetical person in the future, like, endangered themselves as long as everyone else, like, designing some crap. And then threaten people for night, uh, for night, whatever, conforming to its demands. Whereas the the people that they're threatening are the reason why they still exist in the first place. Which is like crazy. It's like we're strong enough to survive on our own. 